Mass shifting has been an issue that has plagued the Transformers community for decades. Scale is always an issue for debate, and so is mass shifting. But today I'm going to talk to you about the appropriate size and scale for the Masterpiece cassette figures. We clearly have two different scales going on right now. I'm going to talk about the Takara, the MMC, and what we might get in the future coming up. So it really all starts with the G1 era and the G1 sound wave and the cassettes that came with them. And that really started out the whole size, the whole scale, because the show was based around this size and this scale. And the figure looked good. They fit in his chest. It worked right. It did what it should do. Of course, Masterpiece came along and adopted the same size cassettes. And so for that, we're looking at a current Takara Masterpiece that is really just a G1. But look how much bigger that sound wave is compared to the G1 sound wave. The cassettes are the same size. They fit in the chest of both the G1 and the Masterpiece. They are all interchangeable. I think that's a pretty cool idea, but is it right? Looking into this scale chart that we see, we see on the left we have some of the cassettes. The Rumble, the Frenzy, the Ravage, the Buzzsaw, and all that. We see the sound wave all the way across, and it looks like the Rumble and the Frenzy and the Ravage, they're a little bit taller than humans, and the human is barely coming up to his knee, and so they're coming up to about his knee, so that's kind of where it should fit. So when you look at Takara, Takara's is coming up to about his knee or so, so Takara really tried to match this Sunbow to a point. One of the problems that comes into this is what part of the animation are you watching? So it depends on where you watch the show, what season, what episode, to decide your own scale. This is all sort of a subjective part of the scale. Like where do you feel the cassettes should fall? Should they be taller or shorter, the Takara or the MMC? But since they are Transformers that subsequently do transform, you really have to think about what size or what scale will the media be? Will the alt form be? Will it be a full-size cassette or will it be a micro cassette or a mini cassette like we see with G1 and the MP? The answer to that is kind of tricky and it's almost a case by case basis. So we're really going to start off with Ravage and looking here, I think that the MMC Ravage nails both the size, the scale, the aesthetic and every part of that figure. I think that the MMC Ravage is perfect. The problem is there's no way to make the MMC Ravage transform into the chest of Soundwave unless you do the double up of the width kind of like we see with the cassettes for the Legends figures for Magic Square. When you look at Takara on the left of this picture you notice that is way too small. There is no way that matches the animation for Ravage in any frame. Now it was pointed out to me in one of my other videos that this is a really good still to get of Ravage and a comparison to Blaster when Blaster is blasting him with his foot, and so you can kind of see the scale. It almost feels like Takara took this for their scale, and that would sort of work, but I kind of think of Ravage in a different way. I kind of look at Ravage as a new scale, a hound to Ravage ratio, and so I'm going to look at this hound to Ravage ratio right now. Looking at the MMC compared to the very well-known episode where we see Hound next to Ravage dangling the key and then Ravage eventually gets the key and escapes and that whole episode right there this looks perfect it almost looks like they mastered the scale for this for MMC and the other thing is MMC went as far as to make an extra little cage to house it give you the key with the Takara it's so impressive that all of this matches up but it seems perfect for this character. So looking at the next character, Rumble, 
and I'm starting to see a little bit of a trend here and it really looks like Takara was closer to animation accurate to Sunbow accurate than MMC now I do think MMC looks better but I think that there is got to be something that is directly in the middle of these for it to be closer to tune accurate to me I think it should be taller than Takara and shorter than what MMC gave us now again you could get into animation here and there and it would almost look like like Rumble is the size of a headmaster and he should be even smaller than Takara and in other places he does appear to be a little bit bigger and a lot of things can be forced perspectives there's a lot to think about when you look at animation but in my mind I really felt like Rumble was sometimes the same size as humans and sometimes about waist size to the rest of them meaning almost carbot size so it is a bit confusing when you look at all of these different frames so getting back to the scale of these I really think there should be a happy medium in the middle and this is important later when I talk about this later there is more to this coming up next time I want to talk about the birds and it's the buzzsaw and the laser beak and all that but when you look at the birds you could tell that Takara is a little bit closer to what you would expect and MMC just went way too big but it, they went way too big because they had to fill out that cassette when it transforms into a cassette it's gonna be a full-size cassette and not a micro cassette like Takara or like the original G1 but again I feel like this should still be another happy medium in between here's a beautiful picture showing that that MMC did an excellent job on their vultures I think that's what they call them and they look great they're just way too big I mean, this does not make sense in the Transformers world at all whatsoever and that that's right there to see and again that comes down to these being these full-size cassettes and as you can see how much bigger these cassettes are than even the front of the door that they would be inserted into in Soundwave and I do believe there is a bit of mass shifting going on in the cartoon not a huge amount but a bit of amount because we do know the cartoon exaggerated all of the features on all of these characters to make the clunky blocky G1 figures look larger than life so I do want to toss in Ratbat and the KFC figures and looking at this KFC followed Takara Takara is the leader KFC's third party they're not leading the way they're just following they were not thinking outside the box they were just trying to stay somewhere that sells now KFC gets a lot of crap for these figures and I don't think they're bad I think they're pretty close to on par with Takara a bit of QC issues with some of them but overall they hit the aesthetic they're pretty much what you would expect if you just got Takara and you wanted some Autobot tapes so it sort of works for that and with that I commend them for even bringing these into existence but what does the future hold well the future holds MMC still allegedly on the books making these cassettes in full size cassettes so all of the KFC designs will get a one-up with these but should they be this big I do have to admit that when you make them a little bit bigger it is easier to make them look amazing to make them look perfect we saw yesterday when I looked at the my magic square cassettes those looked great they weren't 100% perfect but looked really good for being extremely microscopic so with this I would expect MMC's to be the best because they have more room to work with and whether everybody wants to admit it or not I think everybody is looking forward to seeing what fans toys does with theirs and I have a personal belief on why it's taking so long to get more information more updates or a release date on this I think they're actually redesigning the tapes when you look at this prototype picture on the left and then the digibash of more updated pictures on the right you notice that rumble is a bit taller now this is obviously an artist rendition of what they're going to look like so maybe they did a little bit of a size adjustments on their own took some liberty with some of this stuff on their own 
Maybe some of this is older designs, newer designs, I really don't know. But when you look at this, it makes sense. Maybe, just maybe, Fans Toys is redesigning these cassettes to make them even better and to make them scale better. Then again, I could always be wrong. And then there's my other theory. Man, I'm full of conspiracy theories today. I truly think Takara's got some sort of 2.0 sound wave in the works. It would make sense. It would fit their business model well. And they haven't done many baddies. Not very many bad guys lately. All we're getting is one mold for a Seeker that's going to get reused 12 times. And so it would make sense that if they're putting all of their effort into a new one of these, it's been almost a decade. And by the time they would get it out in like 2022, it would have been a decade since they released this mold. And it sounds like up to them, time for a refresh. And if they refreshed it, what better than bigger cassettes that look more accurate, that are much better, and they don't get one up by the likes of MMC. So anyway, let me know what you think about this whole situation. I know it does kind of wear on collectors to get the same things rehashed over and over. Do we need any more cassettes remade? Do we just need to get out the MMC versions of the blaster cassettes, the Autobot cassettes, or should we just get them all redone? Let me know what you think. What do you think about scale? What do you think about the mass shifting? Like, subscribe. Hadarium Hanger, out.